Here's the rocket stove, it's running. We got a leak somewhere in the top. We're gonna have to get Rudy to weld it up around inside at the chimney somewhere. Water puddling up right here and running down the side. Got the water up to 120 degrees. Have burned about half a five gallon bucket of wood. The wood was kind of wet, took us a while to get it going. Here's the circulating pump. It's running on low. Temperature, about 120. It's a little bit less than 120. The rocket has just started running real good. It got, finally got hot enough and got enough dry wood in there. It finally started taking off. Put that metal on the top help restrict the airflow a little bit. There's the rocket going down there. We got a we got a rocket sound and we got a good horizontal flame going. It's okay with not that now above the chimney must have got finally got hot enough. It's drawing good now. We don't have any smoke coming in in here in the basement. It's all going right out. Leaks coming clear out here on the floor. Can't have that. I've got to get that fixed pretty quick. Just make a little stir. Doing good. Get hot fire going in there. Overall, I think the thing's working like we want it to work. Keep topping the water off so it doesn't suck air at the at the pump. That water gets too low on the top. It's pulling off the top of this tank so warmer water can go into through the pump and into the boiler. So it's kind of preheated a little bit. I might have to move that to the bottom. That way I can never suck air to the pump. We'll see how it goes. Come over and check this chimney pipe. Yep, I can still, I can still put my hand on this. That's not too bad at all. If I can touch this exhaust with my hand, that means we're putting a lot of heat into the room and heat into that water. The water's getting pretty hot. There's a little expansion there at the top. I'm going to put a, a tube on there or a pipe and run that upstairs. And then that pipe upstairs will um, have a container on it. And that way we can watch the water level down here in the rocket stove when we're upstairs. Things radiating a good amount of heat off of it. I think it's warmed the basement up. Is the basement warm down here, Bob? Yes. Is it, uh, is it still cold down here? It was pretty cold, remember? Yeah. It's, it's pretty it's warm right here. Warm. It's almost. Yeah, over Tiny here. Bit. Right over here, it's really warm. Back mm -hmm. in this corner, it's really warm. We had this thing. We had this thing sitting upstairs. In front of the fireplace, it heat up that whole room, wouldn't it? Just from the heat coming off the metal. All this metal right here, radiating heat. There's not a whole lot coming out the chimney. I can touch it, I can lay my hand on it, and that fire's roaring in there. It's a roaring fire. I'm gonna shake it every once in a while with big sticks in there. Once I get my chip feeder and pellet feeder working and feeding in, then it'll work automatically. We don't have to feed it. But really, I haven't really fed it that many sticks. That bucket was only about half full of sticks, and it's still got about an eighth of them in there left, so I haven't burnt that many sticks at all. 
and that water is still heating up. I still hear it groaning and creaking and getting hot. Hey, we're over 120 degrees now, Bob. Just a little tiny bit. Oh, that's 110, isn't it? That's Oh, the top's 120. I guess that one's 110. That's weird. Yeah, 120 straight up, I guess. I guess it was 110, bub, that we were up to. We started at like 80, warm water, 80 degrees, and now it's about 110, a little bit more than 110. But we just got the thing burning good just a little bit ago. Really burning good now, but that chimney must have finally heated up and well that's the rocket boiler with the stainless expansion tank on top. I think that tank holds about four gallons and the bottom of the rocket stove probably holds four or five gallons probably eight nine gallons all together and we're hoping to send this through a coil inside of our furnace plenum stick the coil right inside of there let the furnace blower pull the heat through if we can make enough heat and if not, we can, either, we can either do that or we can take that PEX tubing right there and we can run it all through the rafters back and forth and we could do a heated floor. One, with one way or the other, we're going to try to make this thing work. Well, that's it for now. The rocket stove is definitely working. It's definitely heating the water. All except we got a leak we got to fix. Have that thing re welded and that should take care of that. The exhaust is sort of temporary right now. We got to, I got to make a cap for this piece so it has a tighter fit. It's pulling a little extra air in there right now. It's looking pretty it's good. That's it, Brandon's Fish Farm with our new basement heater, signing off.